Well, you know, back in the late 90s, Cambridge, uh, through the initiatives of individuals in, in and around City Hall, you know, most good movements are started by people, you know, just ordinary citizens. And so people around City Hall were saying, we really have to do something to preserve our environment. So back in about, I would say, the late 1990s, 1999, uh, the city of Cambridge decided to join ICLEs. And um, everyone knows about that great organization because we felt that they knew how to do it and that we just wanted to follow them in terms of their support and their models. And shortly thereafter, I wanted to say about 2001, Cambridge um, appointed through our city manager 25 citizen, citizens to be our climate protection advisory committee and they wrote our Cambridge climate protection plan and since then we have done things like you know, little things like change the to light bulbs to really work at uh, getting out of our cars uh, one of the things that we do this is wonderful in Cambridge is we have walk ride days it started by Jane Katz Christie, this one lady that does a whole bunch of stuff. But through her, every Friday, we're encouraged to walk to school or walk to work or carpool or use mass tr transportation. So um, those, that's two easy ways. The other things that we have done is we just recently uh, renovated one of our buildings um, on Broadway Street, our, our municipal building, which we use lead gold standards mm -hmm. for that building. Since then, we use a lead standard model, if not the lead standard itself, in all our buildings. So we just renovated our War Memorial building, which is our um, athletic facility. Wonderful, extremely fuel efficient. We are now adding an addition to our library, extremely fuel efficient. Uh, we've just finished our police station, extraordinarily fuel efficient. But other kinds of things that we've done to encourage um, methods of habits, I'm going to say habits, mm -hmm. amongst our citizens to help us to reduce greenhouse gases is the zip car. I'm sure you've heard about the zip car, which is getting yourself, uh, you know, get rid of your car and just use a car when you absolutely need it. Um, trying to get our kids very involved in it by, um, in fact, just recently we had uh, uh, some students come in show us how to move from styrofoam to, re um, to reusable um, paper cardboard tray. So everybody's involved. In fact, even my my uh, my 11 year old is just trying to bring me along. And she has this thing about, um, I'll tell you by way of a story. She recently um, was went to a class, a training class, to tell her more about how she could be more fuel efficient. And so you know how when you get up in the morning and you start the percolator and you put your toast in the toaster and so I did that and I walked over because you know in the morning we all multitask and when I came back the coffee hadn't percolated the toaster hadn't popped it's because she hadn't plugged it so I had to say to her please don't unplug the refrigerator but the thing <laughs> the idea is that we're all trying to get involved so that we are poised by tw 2010 to have re reduced the 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 um Ga the greenhouse gases. Now, we started in 1999. It's been a slow but steady uh, progression downward, and we just continue to do that. One of the things that we have that's really great, and we're, it's a competitive program that we're doing with um, the cities of Arlington and Medford, is called the Energy Smackdown. I don't know if you've heard of this. No. But the Energy Smackdown is where families, we have 10 households per city, and their idea is how they can become more fuel efficient. And one family in Arlington, I, uh, not in Cambridge, I was in Mass. <laughs> yes, I was in Mass, <laughs> has uh, reduced their energy consumption by half. Now, I, I don't know if I want to go visit them because their house is very, very cool. <laughs> but this is just all the kinds of ways that right. we're trying to do things as individuals, but also as a city. Right. So do you think that's maybe one key is you've got to think of it as a continual thing, not something that you adopt a plan and let it work? You that's right. Pushing. This is really a working plan. You know, when we adopted the plan back in 2000 and, and uh, one. It wasn't a kind of plan that you sat there and you did the research, you got all, pe all these good people together at the table, and then you sat there and did nothing. Right. We actually tried to make the plan work. Well, I would say we walked the talk. Cambridge was just recently cited as this, the number one most walkable city in the country, and we're proud of that, and we really do try to uh, like walk the talk. Yeah.